Hello and welcome to Chemistry in Your Cupboard. My name is John and I'm a Chemistry Education Coordinator at the Royal Study of Chemistry and I'm based at Trinity College Dublin. Today we're going to talk about spectroscopy. We're going to use light to interact with dilutions and concentrations. So let's get started. For this experiment you will need a measuring jug with some water, some blackcurrant juice, three identical glasses, a small torch, a spoon for mixing, a smartphone and some green filters. You can get these from a suite like I have here or you can call up a drinks bottle but please make sure you ask a responsible adult first. You will also need to download a light meter app for your smartphone. These are usually free and there are many to choose from. They allow you to measure the amount of light passing through the camera of the smartphone. The reason we see colour is because everything around us absorbs different wavelengths of light. The colour wheel is a very useful tool to keep track of what colours are being absorbed. In this experiment, our black current rig is purple, so it will absorb green light which is opposite that on the colour wheel. And that's why we use a green filter for our torch. Another way that we can see this is by inverting the colours on our camera. Here you can see that our purple black current drink turns green when we switch over to this setting. We start by measuring an equal amount of water into each glass. Then add a small amount of black current juice to make three different concentrations and use the spoon to ensure that they are mixed. Next we set up the experiment with the torch and the green filter on one side of the glass and the smartphone with the light meter on the opposite side of the glass. Ensure that the light is directly across from the camera and record your result. Repeat the experiment for each of the three concentrations. Making sure that the torch is directly across from the camera at all times. The amount of light passing through the drink is inverse to the concentration. So, the higher the Lux number, the lower the concentration because more light is getting into the detector. In diluted drinks, there's only a small amount of black currant juice available to absorb the light. Most of our green light will pass straight through the drink and into the light meter of the smartphone, giving us a large Lux number. However, in concentrated drinks, there's more black currant juice available to absorb the light. In this case, only a small amount of light will pass through the drink and into our light meter of our smartphone, giving us a smaller Lux number. But the real question is, which is the tastiest? You can also try out lots of different concentrations to find your favourite drink. Just make sure that you keep the amount of water constant for each measure of black currant juice. And that's it. Chemists use spectroscopy all the time to find out unknown concentrations and to identify new chemicals. Make sure you share your results using the chemistry in your cupboard hashtag and subscribe to this YouTube channel to keep track of more episodes. Thank you for watching and goodbye.